Chase is from Laurel. Corinne is from Texas. They've been living in Birmingham and they're moving to Laurel and somehow we have never met. We're looking for a home that we can see our kids growing up in, so rooms for them. With three, three and under, the place where they are safe to play and engage with neighbors and where they can grow. We are big entertainers, so we would love a backyard, patio space. So the first house is the Nichols house. Looks like Mama's house with two front porch swings and plenty of front yard space for babies. Mickey Nichols built this house in the early 90s. He used to be a sheriff deputy. This house is three bedrooms, two baths, 2,500 square feet, and it's listed for $300,000. And this one comes with two acres. Welcome, Welcome. to Welcome. 1991. Uh, all right. What do you like? I love the ceiling height. That was a great surprise when I yeah. came in. A lot of times in the early 90s, in the living room, they would vault the ceiling. In yeah. here, it's not vaulted, it's just really high, and I love that. So in here, just like a light update would make the room feel so grand. Absolutely. The carpet is um, what really dates the room, and I think the chair rail, too. Yeah. And if you took those out and you put in new LVT flooring, that would carry into this dining room and oh. we whitewash or lime wash the brick on the fireplace and pull out the insert, new paint and new lighting. Some families would rather have like a casual eat-in kitchen. I know you want a dining room. Yes, that is very important to us. We want the largest table we can fit <laughs> you in need a dining it. room. I mean, this house is kind of made for that. And also there's a big surprise in the backyard that we'll get oh, to in a minute. Uh, okay. So for these two rooms, it'll be about $10,000. Mm -hmm. And then the kitchen's a little bit more. Yeah, you can always expect a kitchen to be more expensive. Welcome to the 90s. Again, right. this, this is this. that vaulted ceiling I was there talking it is. about. It's nice though. It is. Yeah, I like it. Everything feels like the 90s. Is that the surprise, the pool outside? That's it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at that. It's kind of like an entertainer's paradise, which it is really so is. cool. I love that. I feel like it's perfect for y'all in that way since yeah. you are all about community and having people mm. over. The only thing that's not about you in this house is just the look of it. Yeah. And we can change that easily, I think. Here's what we do. I think we delete the peninsula and the tile floors and build a new island that squares the kitchen up. And then you could build in the refrigerator right here where the oven is. We could use these cabinets that are here if we painted them to make them more your style. And you could get quartz countertops, keep your oven here, and then you'd have all this space and plenty of room for a breakfast table over in the windows. Two acres is great. I feel really removed from neighbors, community. And I know that's important to y'all, so the next house we're going to, lots of neighbors, okay. it's in the middle of town. Okay. okay. Let's go see that one. Yeah. This house right here, this is the Farrier house. Ooh. Oh, I love this. All right. It's a big house. We could lose our children in there. <laughs> uh-huh. It's four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 3,900 square feet. But it's listed for $305,000. So very comparable price range. Wow. Yeah. It's got some personality already. Yeah. The crazy thing, my mom grew up on this cross street. Okay. okay. And so this is cool. This is really cool. Very formal house. It is, but wow. I love how open it is, I love the floors. How do you feel about the formality of this house? Because from everything I know about your style and your taste, it's a little more casual. I kind of like a balance between both of those. The colors are very casual. Ooh, slime green, oh. <laughs> that is the early 2000s special. And then this dining room straight ahead, you love a big dining room yes. that's grand and beautiful. How do you feel about that light fixture? No, that's way too formal. Okay. Yeah, way okay. too formal. So these three rooms, $5,000. All yeah, right. let's talk about the kitchen. It's very unique. Ah. It's got some uh, cabinetry that I've never seen anywhere else. Huh. See, I'm very curious to know what you think about the floors because I like checkerboard floors. Oh, wow. Aaron likes the floors. I am in love, or I don't want to say I'm in love with these cabinets. I'm, I'm borderline obsessed with them. <laughs> they are very custom. custom. Open this pantry. Yes, there's just like a lot of storage space and useful space. I love yes. that. And that's why we were planning to keep them. By keeping the cabinets, and if you just update the flooring, the appliances, new countertops go with a stone countertop. It would be about a $25,000 upgrade on the kitchen. Honestly, I would say leave it. Here's what I think we need to do. We lose these two closets on each side of the doorway, and we bring the doorway out into the hall. Seal a little of this hallway space, pull out all the pink pastel tile and the wallpaper, and build a new walk-in shower to the left when you come in, and then a freestanding bathtub under the windows, and on the right, have a double vanity, and you could have a toilet tucked away where you can't see it around the side of the shower. And then make this hallway work for us by giving us a bigger bathroom. 
And then the bedroom. The bedroom is where you can see that it's an addition. It's mm -hmm. so much bigger than the other rooms in the house, but that's like a good thing. $305,000 to purchase it. Everything we've talked about, $70,000. So it's $375,000. It is right at the top of y'all's budget. Y'all just think about it. You have time. Okay. I feel like there's just a lot of opportunity in here. Yeah, for sure. Whoa, 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 I love it. <laughs> How close are we to moving? Y'all are like, have you closed on a house? We've... We've gone back and forth. It was tough. We've rock, paper, scissored, and... That's true. We can grow a lot longer in the farrier house, and so... Yes! The Farrier house? We bought the Farrier house. We actually got it for $250. Oh Yay! my gosh! Zane, give me five. Yay! Yeah! Guys, that's yes! so exciting. We are we can't so wait. ready. Y'all, we're not starting in the kitchen. We ain't even going in there. Not gonna lie, kind of excited. We're not going in the kitchen. <laughs> Hang on, look, have y'all seen this closet? Check this out. Yeah, it's real special. The closet is it's a whole bag of tricks. Here and say the magic word. Presto change up. Oh. What? Oh. Wow. <laughs> so Katie and I are working on the closet. It's gonna be tough in there. Oh yeah, so hard. You might even get a little bit sweaty. Maybe. Barrier house. Got a scary looking basement. Got a scary basement. Well, in here, hopefully it's gonna be a little bit easier. Watch head. It's exactly in the danger zone for Ben. Tight. Yup. Yep. I want to save some of this parquet. For what? Because I'm going to build a puppet theater. At a parquet floors? Well, this will be the stage. I like it. Let's do this. We've all been baffled by the flooring in there. It's a basement, but it feels like a raised foundation. That's real weird. It sounds hollowy, but we know we're on the ground floor. It is not coming up easily. When we were demoing the floor, we discovered some major problems, the kind of problems that eventually bring a house down. All right, we call Chase and Corinne, and Chase is coming by the house so we can actually show him the problem. Oh. Chase! Hey, are we finished? It looks pretty rough right now. First off, remember when you came down the stairs and yeah, it was soft? Dead spot. Yep, when we pulled that up, everything was rotten underneath. We discovered that it was wood laid on top of the concrete. There was no moisture barrier. So we pulled up everything. We were worried that maybe some water was getting in. As far as things go right now, you don't have water seeping in. So that's a good plus. But once we took up all the subfloor, we got it back to these exterior walls. All of this is starting to fall and crack over here in the corner. It's because the soil's not compacted underneath. When you purchased it and got a home inspection, there was no way to know the condition of what was underneath the floors. We drilled a hole over here just to see about how far it right goes. Right there is where it hits, which is actually a gap. There's actually a void space. That's going through the... There. So you have the concrete and then there's a gap. Yeah. It's really bad. The ground is so soft, and that's what's supporting this whole house. It's like a sandbox. So what do we do? We're going to come in here and we're going to cut out all this concrete that is busted and doesn't have any soil compacted underneath it. We'll bring in more dirt, tamp, and then we'll compact the soil. After that, I'll put down a plastic moisture barrier followed by steel mesh reinforcement. And then we're going to pour new concrete in here. This is major, but it's fixable. But wait, there's more. Oh. The second issue that we're running into is the way the exterior walls are built. They laid all of your subfloor and then they built the walls. That doesn't seem ideal. Nope. Right now, your exterior walls are just suspended. So the house is holding the walls up. Should be the opposite. So once we get the concrete in, then we're gonna go around and we're gonna add new base plate around the exterior wall so that your wall is actually resting on the concrete like it should have been initially. So after we do that, then we can lay your pretty floor and put your baseboards back and it's safe. This does all cost money, of course. We think it's like $8,000, right? Yeah, it's gonna cost about 8,000. This is major, but our contingency is sufficient. We think that your whole contingency can be used toward this, and that should cover all of it. Holy cow. So as we are 
filling in the cavity. We got Mike and Chris are there smoothing it out. We are finishing as we go. Now that the concrete's done, it'll take a few days for it to cure, and then we can come in and do our seals. We are reverse engineering our walls. This is one of those super special and satisfying things. The pressure washing of a moldy white house. Woo! It's looking like a million bucks. Their new bathroom is coming together. That framing going up. I still miss the pink. That tile was cool too. But it's OK. It's going to be great. It's going to be a fresh, whole new look. So next, we got to paint the trim and the front door. And that's where the house is going to change personality a little bit. Chase and Corinne's house before was just very black and white, which didn't feel like their personality at all. There's warmth about them. They think childhood literacy is very important. It's something that's really special to Ben and I, too. And so building the little free library on the corner in front of their house makes a lot of sense for this family. This house is such a cornerstone house. I mean, it sits on one of the most prominent corners in all of downtown Laurel. And I think they love it for that reason. It's kind of a beacon of friendliness and warmth. Y'all, it's so good. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's hard to talk through tears. It mm. is. We just like pressure washed the exterior and updated the trim paint. We gave you new lights on the front porch, new landscaping. Oh my gosh. No longer the red door house. Right. <laughs> You'll have to find a new wayfinding marker like the little free library house. Oh, Corinne. Yeah. <laughs> the kids are going to love that. <laughs> <laughs> Comforting. This house is a little bit formal, so we followed its lead. Yes. Yeah. And, and we let these two rooms be a little dressy. They're yes. a little formal. You have this grand foyer when you enter, mm -hmm. and then the living room to the right is your formal living room. But don't worry, because we have plenty of casual and fun right. space <laughs> to see, too. Oh, I can't wait. I can just see the people and the parties and mm -hmm. everything in here. This is going to be amazing. Normally, at this point, we would say, do you want to go see your kitchen? But you guys didn't want to renovate the kitchen. So do we want to go see the dining room? The dining room, room. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> what? Surprise. <laughs> Wait, is that, that from That came house? from my mom's uh -huh. house. Yeah, that's your grandfather's piano. <laughs> I hear you want to teach the kids how to play the piano, so I now do. you can. You've now taken two things from my past and making it my future and my baby's future, and it's just. Oh, you got it. <laughs> it's just, it's perfect. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Yes. Whoa. Just so much yes. I love it. The pink is gone. It's gone. Serene, soft. We were able to give you a bigger bathroom. Yes. Okay, so my favorite part, these floors. They're, uh, it's They're amazing. They're beautiful. It's tile. It's tile. uh not that wild? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's lights. Oh my gosh. Isn't it yeah. wild what paint and lights will do? In our big closet now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Amazing. This is so fancy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at it. All the kids stuff. I love this so much. <laughs> Floors are gorgeous. Yes, they are. It made something that was an, an eyesore in the way into something that's beautiful. Yeah. Come look at this. Oh my word. Yes, you got to see this, y'all. <laughs> This is the cleverest, cutest. Yo, that is the precious. The Littler Theater. The Littler uh -huh. Theater. I made, it. I made puppets. Smallest you theater. made puppets. I made a puppet. Well, I made one. And Lucy made this one, and Sweet. Mallory made that one. This is just like kid hangout zone. The kids are going to love this. The kids are going to love it. This board came from Getty's house. I can't believe that came from his house just down the street. Yep. Yeah, man. right down the street. Oh. And then we've got some parquet flooring here. Yeah, I think Ben and Aaron have definitely figured out who we are as a family, as a couple, who we want to be as a part of 
this community of Laurel. I think they definitely hit the nail on the head. So you ended up getting the house for $250,000, mm -hmm. which was already a steal. The renovation was 70, and then we had the $8,000 to repair all the foundation mm -hmm. work. So you ended up at $328,000. On an iconic Laurel house. Can't wait to use every space. Y'all did a really good job. Yes. Thank you so much.